Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's time for a new prompt and the prompt this month is inspired by and we're going to be working with several different artists throughout the month that I want you to base your artwork on. Um, now the challenge for this week is symbols and shapes and we're going to be working with three artists this week um, namely Klimt, Kandinsky and Orr Ambrose so I want you to go and have a look at their artwork and um, take your inspiration from what they've created. Now you can work with one particular artist if you want to or you can you know just mix all three or two of them you know just put your your spin on it um, and I've chosen three because I don't want all the artwork in the group to just you know all be the same so you know you've got some choice these are the colors that I've been working with this week I've been working with copper um, iridescent gold some gold embossing paper and these are a few of the bits and pieces that I have used or a couple of the bits and pieces that I've used in this week's piece of art I've chosen Klimt to work with this week so I'm going to show you my video now and do a voiceover and I'll catch up with you at the end I'm working on a piece of £169 mixed media paper today and I'm just using some iridescent gold which I'm applying with a natural sponge. I just spread it on initially and then the second layer I'm dabbing it on because I want some texture going on in my background. to intensify the colour slightly so I'm just applying a second layer. Now I'm going to be doing my interpretation of Klimt's Tree of Life today um, and so I need a ground a base for my tree to sit on so I'm just applying some copper iridescent paint to the bottom of the page. I'm going to apply my tree with the Folk Art Curly Tree Stencil and I'm just masking it down to the background with some low tack washi tape. Um, I, you might also notice as well that I've masked off um, some leaves which were on the stencil because I don't want those. And I'm just applying the paint using a makeup sponge. I'm using the same iridescent copper just to apply my tree. To avoid any paint seeping underneath the stencil, make sure that you don't overload your sponge. I want to extend the branches on my tree. It's just looking a bit lost on the page and I want it to fill up more of the space. And so I'm just aligning the stencil and just applying more branches that way. Really easy to do. And if ever you need to do this, just make sure that you clean your stencil on both sides and dry its stage in between.
Klimt, of course, was famous for the symbols he used in his artwork. So I'm just going to apply lots of doodles to my tree. And I'm using a mixture of white and black Posca paint pens um, and also some of the gold iridescent paint again, which I'm applying with a stylus. Posca paint pens work great on top of acrylic paint but just make sure that the layer of paint underneath is dry before you start doodling otherwise you'll just clog up and ruin your paint pens. So I'm just applying various shapes, um, squares, ovals, triangles um, in that Klimt style. I'm also layering the paint pens but if you're going to do this just make sure that the colour underneath is dry first. I'm ready to start working on the bottom panel of my page now and I'm using crochet hooks. These are the crochet hooks that I used when we were doing the dot painting and you can see I've got some iridescent gold paint and some black paint on my mat and I'm just using various sizes of crochet hooks just to add the details. I want to add a border to the top of the page so I'm just using some washi tape again, low tack washi tape just to mask off the area on the edge. Um, I soon realised that um, I should have done this one side at a time because there's a bit of jiggery pokery involved here because you can see that the washi tape at the corners um, overlaps but I get there in the end.
Once the copper border was dry, I used a stylus to apply some gold iridescent paint to the edge, just applied some polka dots. Um, and again, I'm just applying more polka dots to the dots on the bottom panel as well, now that that paint is dry. And to help the trunk of my tree blend into the bottom panel, I'm just adding some curls, polka dot curls, just to look like roots. Now I want to apply some embossed doodles to the bottom of my page so I've painted a strip of cardstock in the same way as I painted the bottom of my page. So I've sponged on some iridescent gold um, and then I've gone over it with the copper and I'm just applying some embossing ink um, and then adding some chunky gold embossing powder. Now I start off by drying this from underneath that strip of card just to stop that chunky powder from flying off the page. Now initially I just emboss a couple of these shapes just so that I can cut them out and see how they look on that panel um, and to me it looks good so I decide to emboss a few more and I also emboss them in black as well. I've had a play with composition and um, this is the design that I've decided to go with so I'm just placing them back on my page and then I just use some tacky glue to glue them down. Here's my finished page and I'm thrilled to bits with how this has turned out, really pleased with it. I love the gold and the copper with the black and white, it just looks beautiful. Of course, you know, Klimt uses many other colours in his artwork. I've chosen to, just to use these four because I think I just would have ended up in a horrible mess had... It, it would have just taken me too far out of my comfort zone. So just, you know, go with what you are comfortable with. So just to recap, the prompt this month is inspired by... Um, and 
the artists we're working with this week are Klimt, Kandinsky and or Ambrose. So go and have a look at the artworks of all three artists. If you want to combine all three, combine two, then, you know, feel free to do so or just base it on one particular artist. You know, the choice is yours. And of course, then I'll be back next week with a, a new challenge for you based on a completely different set of artists. So I hope you enjoyed um, the prompt this week. And as always, if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. And if anybody would like to take part in our weekly challenges, I'll leave the details of our Facebook group in the description box below. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.